So without further ado, just get Jimmy to give a welcome speech. All right? Okay. So uh, thank you guys to join us today, and also for the Intel Country Manager Sumner also here to support us and everyone. And every quarter we want to bring some surprises to Malaysian end users, right? So in quarter one, we introduce the brand new 21 device. T300G and new Zen Cook US305 and also both of them got a very good response and feedback from the market. And in quarter two, we launched a very successful Zen Two series and I saw many people of you are using that. I hope you guys are very satisfied with it performance. And we also have a first ever in ASUS history in Malaysia. We have a end user gathering in KO Life and that one was amazing and very successful and I I saw some of you were there, right? So thank you very much for your participation. And in quarter three today will be the first wave of our surprise, which we are going to introduce you our brand new ASUS Zenpad series. In past quarters, we have seen many brands. They also launched their own very entry price point tablet product. But actually, for the performance-wise or end user experience, we think that one is not that perfect. We think and we believe that end users deserve to have a better tablet product, which we think and we believe is our Zenpad series. We hope through today's uh, introduction, you will see how good is our visual experience and audio experience and audio design, and definitely the most important is our performance. So uh, later, I think Sumner can share more details about the engine inside our Zenpad because this is a core of the performance, right? So uh, let's welcome Sumner from the stage to share some of the secrets of the performance. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. It's nice to see uh, so many familiar faces coming out on a uh, on a Friday uh, lunchtime. I'm uh, really excited to be here. Thanks for the introduction, Jimmy. You know the. Uh, the surprise that Jimmy and the ASUS team has for you today, it's, uh, it's an important milestone for Intel in our mobile strategy. So uh, the Atom X3 is the engine that uh, Jimmy referenced before. And what's special and meaningful about the Atom X3 to Intel is it represents a major step forward in our mobile strategy. So this is our first uh, mobile SOC. And you guys realize that that, that means that we've taken our processor leadership and we're combining it with our leadership in comms in a highly integrated package, an integrated piece of silicon that's designed to bring to users great performance, uh, great comms capability, at a price point that delivers excellent value to the customer. So we think that uh, it's not about selling you know, at a low cost price. It's about giving users um, really good value for money. It's knowing that you know, when you pick up a tablet, you're going to get the performance you want for games or for video. You're going to get that great battery life. You're going to get that level of responsiveness that you come to expect from Intel products. Um, you know, the X3 is the sort of the value segment of our stack. So five X7 in our mobile stack. Um, I don't have the pretty slide that our marketing guys put together that shows the, the stack in detail, but. This stack will go all the way up to Core M at the high end, and that's, the, of course, the intersection where you get into two-in-ones and, and notebooks. And ASUS, of course, has some great systems in market here, like the P300G, for example, um, that are in that. So what you're seeing today is you're seeing that, that product stack start to, start to build out and seeing you know, at the price points that ASUS is going to bring the surprise to market, you're going to see really good value, great performance, and great content. I'd love to get your, uh, your feedback and you know, hear what you think about the product. So. Quick introduction, so I'll hand it back over to Team Asus. Nice. So, uh, thank you, Sumner, for the introduction. Uh, okay. okay, so uh, I'm Paul. Uh, I think I've seen all of you before. So, I'll just do a quick quick introduction on the latest Asus and that for you guys before we start. Here. Okay, just let you know what we're introducing today. So, today, the focus. The, the major product we have is ASUS Zenpad 7. Right, this is considered the hero product of our overall Zenpad lineup. So, just to let you know, for ASUS tablets, we actually changed the naming rule from phone tabs all to Zenpads. This is a symbol that we want to revamp our whole tablet lineup. 
So the key word today for Jesus and is actually luxury. All right. Because because we've been introducing so many tablets for the past few years and we don't want people to just think that oh it's just a simple IT product in terms of specs you know, and price. We also want to bring more to end users in terms of uh, user experience. That's why today we decided to focus on luxury. Okay, and not, not only luxury, because I think people, they have different definitions about luxury. You know, some people, they think to them, luxury is uh, you know, better, it, it looks good. And for some people, luxury items, they have to perform well. So matter, no matter what your definition of luxury is, yeah, there are them that they will seek to fulfill all the aspects in terms of product performance and outlook. So uh, I'll just start with the design concept. Right. So Limpad, the Limpad 7 is designed based on a clutch bag. This is a very uh, fashion accessory concept. Uh, I've seen some, I think some of you have uh, been through the Computex or seen related uh, reviews. So it's, it has a very brand new look compared to our previous phone pads that we introduced to the market. And for the Zenpad 7, we have three different colors. <coughs> Black, white, and metallic. So it's not only just a, a, a simple coloring. You know, uh, if you look at the samples later on, you'll, you'll notice that the back side, we have a special texture that looks like leather that you would normally find on the handbags. So we put special detail and attention to make this look like an actual luxury item. And also, in terms of the form factor, like always, we always, so we always try to improve the weight and the thickness. So compared to our competitor, actually, it's way thinner and lighter. The Benpad 7 only weighs at two, 272 grams, which is lighter than the Samsung Tab B. Uh, and also, it's 8.7 millimeter thick. So, in terms of thickness and weight, it, uh, I think it's the best 7 inch tablet right now on the market. And also, this is, we did uh, some small touches to the overall design. For instance, like this metal coated frame. This is coated based on the NCBM technology. So, it looks like a real metal frame, but it does not interfere with your radio signals. So, this is also a concept borrowed from the, all the handbags, the luxury handbags. Because normally those, those handbags will have those metal accessories, right? So this is also the same concept. It looks very classy and premium. So, but that's not, that's not all, okay? I think the most important part about the impact in terms of design is the customization, is a customizable experience. I think I can safely say we're the world's first tablet that can have a customizable option. We have a range of accessories that can allow you to customize the tablet. For starters, the Asus Zen case. This is a back cover of our Zenpad 7. So meaning that you can change the cover, the back side the cover of your Zenpad based on your own preference. So we have five colors in total. You know, not only the normal black, white, silver, also available in Tiffany blue and bright orange. So I, like I said, luxury on your terms. Whatever color you like, you can change it. And I think this is the first tablet on the market to so have such a feature. And also, in terms of, not only in terms of the outfit, if you're really into the fashion accessories, you also have the Asus Zen Clutch. This is a clutch bag. It's a clutch bag shaped casing. So you can actually cover it. And also it's made of a fine leather material. So it offers you a very premium look and feel. And also in terms of functionality, we also have the Asus Power Case. So this is a built-in battery yeah. built inside the back cover. So if you're like on a plane or in some situation where you have to use the uh, case for a very long time, it can just, the power case can just sustain up to 16 hours of usage, non-stop. So today if you're on a flight from you know, 
KL to the San Francisco. I think this is going to be a huge call. So this is all the customizable uh, assessment we have for them. I think we're really the first to do so in terms of the tablets. Okay, so let's move on to display. I think this is this is the key, one of the key features we have for them. Like, I think for luxury tablet the display is very important because it's very straightforward when you open the screen. Whether it looks good or not, it's very obvious. So in terms of the hardware, it comes with a high definition IPS display. Right? I think this is very standard for all, for all our Zen pads. Right? We want the specs to be you know, very premium. And also, this is not just a normal IPS screen. Also in terms of manufacturing, we did the full lamination. So what this full lamination means is that previous manufacturing techniques, you have six layers of, you know, Sensors, air, air, uh, air gaps, you know, adhesives between the LCD module and your eyes. But now after that, we make it into two layers. So what happens is that the transparency of the screen will improve from normally 86 percent to 94 percent. So all the colors will look brighter. So even Despite, you know, we use IPS, you know, compared to, we also use IPS. But no, with the full lamination screen, the colors will look more bright. And it's not so, it's also not about the hardware, it's also about the software, you know. This is a very exclusive technology we introduced for Asus tablet. It's only for Asus files only, it's called Asus True to Life technology. So this is a very cool thing, all right. Uh, I know you all you they you use Zenfone, right, Zenfone 2. I'm sure you all agree it's a, it has a really cool camera, right? You use the HD, uh, HDR mode. You use it, right? Yeah. You know, for the scenery, it's the HDR mode. So I think the HDR, HDR mode it creates more vivid pictures. You know, for the, you know, no matter it's bright or dark. Now imagine HDR mode, not only for picture, you move it to the screen. The display is constantly HDR. That's what we did. For our them has. That's what the True to Life technology does. It puts the uh, HDR technology on your screen. So today your camera does not have to be HDR. Your picture does not have to be HDR. Anything you put inside it turns you know, automatically into HDR. So a closer look on how we do it. Okay, so normally in terms of display, they'll process this as one whole picture. But of course, sometimes the picture have very dark places or very bright areas. So each place they require their own different optimization. But when you do it at the whole, it either look too bright or too dark. But what we do for the true life, the true life technology is that we slice the image picture on the screen into very various different segments. So each segment receives the optimization suitable for for their own. So the result is that the dark places will look very you know, very clear and the bright places will also look very sharp. So you'll have no shadows, you know, and all the contrast and the colors will look more vivid. So there's a lot going on in the screen. There's like 60 million pixel optimization per second going on with the cheap light technology on the screen. So this is how we do it and what's happening is that in terms of sharpness you can see uh, you in the front, you might see it clearer. Yeah. On the right side, it's without true life, so it might be more blurry. But with the true life, the picture will look sharper, more lifelike. Later on, we have a demo app. We can actually see actual differences. It's also the contrast level. Although, if I tell you the contrast level, you might not have an idea of how it looks like. This is how it looks like actually. Without true life, lower contrast levels. Picture will look more dull. So with that with higher contrast levels, it looks more colorful and, and striking. And also, it's not just about the picture. Sometimes, you know, you know pictures you have the text. But I, mean, I think you all have experience when you sharpen your photos. The ones with a lot of text, it will become very blurry. So this is actually a smart technology to detect that. If you have a lot of text on the screen, it will not sharpen it as much. Make it very close. But for the picture itself, it will make it like uh, 
optimize it based on the pictures. It means that you have loose text, but better, better picture quality. It also not only applies to you know pictures, it also applies to movies. You can see, okay, that's on the right hand side is one without true life, and the one on the left is one with true life. I'll just show it again for you to get a better idea. Choose your life technology somehow we can move the frame rates. Without the same picture, you have less chance of lagging. <coughs> Look more than that. So this is actually a combination of hardware and software for Asus tablets that will offer you the most best display for tablets in the market. Now let's talk about audio. The ASUS system had come with DTS technology. I think this is the first ASUS product ever that comes with DTS technology. So I think most of you might know what DTS is, right? So for some of you that don't know, i just give you a brief idea. DTS is uh, audio format created originally from, for the Jurassic Park movie. But after that, they use it in all the movie formats on the Blu-ray DVDs. So in short, this is a high-end audio format processing that they use in Hollywood. And movie series. So basically, how it works is, you know, this is original content provided by you know content providers from your CD or from your video game. Of course, you play it with your with your, your, with your MP3 player or on your tablet or on the most typical devices. Due to compression, the sound will sound different. So audio cues will be lost. But with the DTS technology, optimize the sound <coughs> so it'll look more detailed and more similar to the original content. So the result is that you have more real, realistic and lifelike sound experience with the DTS technology on our net pads. And it's not only the sound itself, no, in, ter in terms of the uh, frequency and the Loudness, you know, the wider the better, the higher the better. You can see the red one is the one without sound optimization. The blue one is the one with the DTS technology. So you can say it, it offers a wider sound range and a deeper bass and also a louder sound on the device. And it's not only with uh, the sound from the speakers, it also, well, it also has effect on the earphones, on the ear, ear pieces. So when you listen to the limb pad with your DT pieces, you have a 5 in 1 channel surround sound effect. So later on, we also have new pieces for you to try it on. It really sounds really, really like that. It also comes with the audio card. Right. Actually, that, the previous part was not all the accessories. This is the final accessory. The audio cover for the limb pad. Actually, I have one on hand. I might just demo it to you. You know, we're here in the restaurant, it's a bit loud, but you can see, you still have to listen here lately. I think some people in the back can still hear it, right? So this is the audio cover. All right. It has six speakers, including a soft cover. It gives you a 6.1 surround sound effect. And it does not require an external battery. No, it charges directly from the device. Okay. So it's very convenient, functional back cover. It provides you great audio experience. That's the audio part. All right. And then about the camera, I, I just mentioned the Zenfone 2, right? It has a stunning, good camera with all the low light modes, all the features. So could we decide to use the same technology to put it on the Asus Zenfone yeah. So the Asus Zenfone also comes with the Pixel Master camera. It has an 8 megapixel rear camera with all the HDR modes and all the low light modes. So later on we have a low light box. Corner after the presentation because you can try it on the then pad itself and see that it see the effect under the low lighting conditions. Okay. 
All right, so I just do a recap, right? The whole message for an impact, for the impact seven, all over all the impact is luxury, right? Luxury on your terms. The users, or no matter whoever, do you decide what luxury means to you, we offer you the best product, giving you the best experience. So we break it down in terms of features, the five major features that we would like to focus on. New design, a customizable experience, excellent visuals, and the lifelike audio systems, and the stunning camera. So no matter what luxury means to you, you, know, you can have the best of everything. It's on on them as seven. So, in terms of pricing, Specs. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, just a quick look at the specs. It's power, it's, uh, so it's powered with the, the Intel Atom CPU. And also, I did not mention before, it's, uh, storage and RAM size. It's, uh, it comes with 16G uh, storage and 2G RAM. And sorry for this one, we do not have the, the dual CPU feature we really have. It's a yeah, single SIM only. And for the pricing, uh, because we have, uh, <laughs> we have the event on August 6th. So all the pricing details will be launched then at Mid Valley. So please come, please stay tuned for all the announcements. Right now we have, oh, no, this is just a sneak preview. Actually, you're one of the first people in Malaysia to actually see all the features of the MS7. Yeah. I just want to highlight, no, just, uh, and we, we also launched the MS7. A couple of weeks ago, this is like a successor to the previous phone pad 170, the FE 170. So it has very similar specs, but improvements is that this time we have the IPS display, we have upgraded storage, but we still have the dual scene, and it still comes with a free market case, like the FE 170. This one we're selling at 499. I also mentioned that it's finished, it's actually it's finished seven inch tablet. In Malaysia right now, only 8.4 millimeter still. And we, we check in 7 inch range, there's no one that can at us in this category. So I think that's all for the product introduction itself. So I think we might have a